Welcome to Baltimore, hon. What you're looking at is the um, main steam shutoff valve for Baltimore's district steam uh, system into a historic building in downtown Baltimore. So it comes from the grid out in the street somewhere at about uh, 30 something PSI. Normally, uh, they've been pretty much uh, getting rid of that uh, low, what they call low pressure, um, and they're running at about 125 PSI uh, into buildings such as the Bromo Seltzer Tower. So this is one of the last ones that have the low pressure. It comes out and it uh, goes into this bullhead T. And you see that... Uh, is the branch to the firehouse. That's actually the um, headquarters of the uh, Baltimore City Fire Department. And that snakes through and goes through a torturous path uh, through the uh, uh, building of the building th that I'm in, which happens to be the Zion Lutheran Church in Baltimore City. Uh, this is Zion Lutheran's leg here, and that's their main shutoff valve, um, which failed a couple of years ago, and the uh, steam utility uh, replaced it. And it goes into this manifold here, and it's split into what used to be five zones, but now it's down to three. A lot of these zones have been abandoned, uh, cut off, and reduced. Now that is the main zone to the sanctuary building, which uh, was originally built in 1804. I think it burned down in the 1840s or 1850s, and uh, they damn near lost it in the uh, 1904 Baltimore fire, but uh, it survived. And that's what's heating that. It goes off. And uh, that's the crawl space um, to the uh, to the original building. So in 1909, I think they got the uh, they got the system and uh, steam system installed. And about that time, they also added various other portions. Um, that's going to the uh, Sunday school, and this one is going to the um, administrative offices, more or less. And these are pressure reducing valves, which take the let's see if we can get a good shot of that without the glare. Apologize for the glare. There we go, about 30 tum some pounds um, upstream. And the downstream pressure is reduced to about two pounds. Really antiquated analog system here. You have an old motor, which when it gets a signal, they call it the electric janitor, janitor uh, this rotates down, this drops this arm. The arm then pushes down on a spring on this pilot control which then feeds steam through this uh, copper tube into the diaphragm. And when it receives a downstream signal from here, it then will cycle based on this weight uh, to about two pounds when it's full of steam. I can decrease excuse me, increase by sliding this weight out and putting more pressure on this uh, diaphragm in here and uh, get more pressure. But I have this dialed in to probably the lowest pressure it possibly can. Then there's a bleeder here in this control, which bleeds off the pressure from here when the system cycles down. The, you lift this arm up, the pressure bleeds away, and this 
main valve, which is normally closed, will then cycle closed once the pressure drops uh, here. But uh, what has happened is the uh, Sunday school zone uh, also goes to the Adler, Adler's Hall, which means Eagle's Hall, or this, uh, the social zone there has uh, stuck open. And that's primarily because this little bleeder here, it's full of schmutz and won't allow the pressure to die. So they've had to shut it off manually. So I'm going to clean this and hopefully this will get them um, operating properly. Thanks for listening.